Peace to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. This is another middle of the week, Wednesday, hum day, where we call on believers to continue to pray, to intercede. And those believers who have not yet learned to pray, desire to pray, this is the day you can convert to becoming a prayer warrior, an intercessor. Prayer still works. Prayer changes things and people. And we are called to pray. Let's be faint. And I want to encourage believers everywhere to pray, especially our fathers. Yes, fathers, we're still celebrating even now that we are who we are because of God. And today, I want to encourage fathers to be intercessors, to pray, particularly for our children. That's our mandate. One of the highest calling we have is to intercede on behalf of our children. God still hears and he answers prayer. And we're going to take a page from Job. Job chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. And then we're going to pray. And it reads, His sons used to go and hold a feast in the house of each one on his day. And they would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the days of feast had run their course, Job would send and consecrate them. And he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of all of them. For Job said, It may be that my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually the word of God to the people of God. Job is a great example for us as fathers to pray for our children. Indeed, Job no doubt prayed for their character, that they would do the will of God in their hearts. Nothing may have gone wrong during the parties and the banquets, but Job wanted to be sure that they did not do in their hearts would displease God. So he prayed for them. Indeed, Job prayed for the will of God to be done. Thy kingdom come, no doubt he said. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He wanted his children to please God. And one of the greatest prayer we can pray for our children is that they be saved. And I believe Job wanted his children to have a right relationship with God. That's the best thing can happen for our children. So as we pray today, let's pray that the character of our children be godly. Let's pray that the will of God be done in the lives of our children. More importantly, fathers, let's pray that our children be saved. And finally, fathers, we should pray that our children have a relationship with God, that they know God personally, intimately. The most important relationship our children will ever have is with God. That should be our prayer. We can make them safe. We can change them. We can be for them what they ought to be for themselves. But we can pray. We can pray. And God who hears us is who will respond. Let's pray for our children. Let's intercede for them. That's the greatest responsibility we can have is to pray for our children. Father, we thank you today. We praise you, we honor you. And as we pray for fathers to be intercessors on behalf of our children, I thank you for fathers today who are in prayer even now for the salvation of their children. Indeed, that their children follow the will of God and develop a character that is godly and godlike. I give you praise today 
that our fathers will pray intentionally, will intercede. Indeed, our children are best resource. They are best investment. And I pray today that we will lift them up in prayer. That we will call on the name of the Lord on their behalf even now. Thank you for your blessings on our children. Thank you that even in the blessings, they will not stray from you. Even in the difficulty, they will not deny you. That they will stay steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I pray that we will be godly examples for them and cause them to trust in the Lord with all their heart. Lean not to their own understanding, but in all of their ways acknowledge you and you will direct their path. We give you praise for those who lead the nations this morning. We pray them too will pray for their children, including our prime minister, all of parliament and their families, that they too will be in prayer for their families, for their children in particular. We pray for those who lead in the body of Christ. Thank you, Father, that we be men and women of God who will pray for our children. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and indeed for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted even now. And let fathers take this responsibility to the next level. Intentionally pray for children everywhere particularly those that God has blessed them with. We give you thanks this morning, and we pray this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. We pray, amen. God bless you, fathers. God bless you, prayer warriors. Let's pray today. Let's intercede. God still hears and answer prayer, and the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much. Have a great praying day in the Lord. Amen.